So um, we do have another Theus caller here. So let's talk to Ron in Canada. Mm -hmm. And Ron would like to talk about the truth of the Bible. So go for it, Ron. Yes. Well, thank you for taking my call. Um, no problem. Yeah, I just want to say that uh, um, I want to say that the I believe the Bible is true, and that the values in the Bible um, have shaped Western civilization and uh, and made Western civilization um, what it is today. I think it's, uh, uh, it's if it wasn't for yeah. So, sorry to cut you off. I think it's uh, you know it's. It's interesting to talk about the history of Western civilization. I think it's undeniable that Christian Christianity has had an influence on the West, but also just on the world. You know, it's an idea like Islam has had an influence on the entire world. And to say something has shaped the world, you know, that's that's arguably true. I mean, you could say that I've had some influence on the world and have shaped it to some degree. But what I think is more interesting to me and maybe to MD, maybe, uh, we'll see, is your starting claim, which is I believe the Bible is true. I mean, why, like, regardless of whether, you know, Christianity has to some degree shaped the world, but in my opinion, not because it's true. Like, Islam has shaped the world, and that doesn't mean that it's true or right or good. Uh, and I would say the same is for Christianity. So what has convinced you? What has made you think that the Bible is entirely true or largely true? No, the, the Bible is entirely true. I mean, if I okay. were to drop one part of the Bible and call the one part of the Bible silly or wrong, then I would have to call all parts of the Bible wrong. Yeah, so that's a good step. I, I agree with you on that. So what okay. what has convinced okay. you that the um, that the Bible is true? Well, um, I believe that the Bible contains a, basically an ancient uh, technology that's a wisdom that has revolutionized um, Western civilization and made... For sure, okay. but like, so the Quran oh, oh. contains yeah. uh, information that has, you know, shaped, um, like, well, you know, the areas in which Islam is the East, perhaps. Um, so, so that that has wisdom, and and that doesn't make that true, right? You surely you don't believe that like the Quran is true, or that Buddhism is true, or so. There's got to be something special no, about no, the yes, Bible. Right. That's right. Just because it was influential doesn't make it right, necessarily. Yeah. I agree with you. But I feel that it was influential for the positive. Um, I think it, it changed the Western, civilized, Western civilization value system, speaking specifically the Judeo-Christian value system. Uh, right, but why... Christianity, both... I, I, I know, I, so I, I'm, not, I'm just trying to steer you back onto this, this truth claim. Um, for sure, I'll, I'll just totally agree with you. Christianity... Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, they've all shaped the West and so they've had they've arguably done some good stuff and they've arguably done some bad stuff. That's cool. Maybe even you think Christianity is the best of those. But why is it true? Why are you convinced? What is your reasoning? You know, you open the Bible and you're like, "Wow, this is true." Or why did yeah. you open the Bible in the first place? Right. What what has convinced you that it's true? Right. Well, until I opened the Bible uh, and started reading it with the right scholarship behind me, did I only only then did I learn um, its accurate truth that it was accurate and um, and intelligent. Uh, when I initially picked it up, I, I read it on my own and I misinterpreted everything and I didn't understand it. So I believe it's true. I believe it's true because I believe well. I believe God gave and revealed Himself. Um, at Mount Sinai. Uh, okay, but uh, Ron, <clears throat> um, you're, you're, you're not quite answering the question that Katie's been asking, right? So we're asking, mm -hmm. why do you believe the Bible's true? And then you said, I believe the Bible's true because right. I believe God, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear like another yeah. belief claim. I yeah. want to hear what right. specifically convinced you that what the Bible is reporting is accurate. Right. That's fair. You're right. You're right. Uh, well, I believe that the Bible is so great uh, that the wisdom contained within the Bible is so great that it could not have been man-made. I don't have proof, like I would find in a, in, a, in a laboratory that was definitively created or inspired by God, but it, I would say that so, it has to be. Um, so this is, um, this is actually a common argument I've seen from Muslims, and they often say that the Quran is so great, like it just cannot be 
uh, cannot have been written by a human or even they can only have been written by a god and so if if a muslim comes up to me and they're like well the quran is true because it is so well written that it has to have been written by god and you come up to me and you're like well the bible is true because it's so well written it has to be written by god i am now stuck in a position where even if i think well actually a human could have written the bible and i think a human could have written the quran that's we can go into that argument next but i think the first step is what you know what you said you don't have maybe proof that it's so difficult that only a god could have written it or something or inspired it or whatever mm -hmm. how, whatever your position on this is what how am i separating you and as a christian and a muslim a number of both number telling of me ways. the same claim? a number of ways okay what why is right. why is a the bible number one. more impressive or truer or well let me explain Sorry, go ahead yeah go ahead Sorry. um the Bible is, is impressive and inspired so many people uh, because it, um, it it could not have been made by by humans alone. It does not seem to me that humans would have made the Bible alone. History and civilization, all civilizations up to, to that point, all created their own religions. So there are many examples of what human created religions looked like. Human relig created religions were human based. They had human gods were of human qualities. They had human like Jesus. feelings. They had, they were, uh, well, Jesus, um, I'm saying preceding the gods, the God of Sinai, the gods. I'm saying that the people, um, I'm creating the context of why I think that the God of, of Sinai so Ron, do you, do you? I, I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah. I just want to make a point. So you're saying some. You're you're sort of listing things that distinguish Christianity from other religions, right? Uh, well, I'm speaking of Judeo-Christian values. I'm not saying right, sure. um, Christian. My, my point is, I think yeah. that it's kind of arbitrary to say, oh, well, Christianity is true because it was the first one that had, you know, a uh, human or, or whatever, a non-human type God. It's like, well, that's kind of an arbitrary thing, right? Like, why is that? Like, like I, what we're really looking for, I think, is something that is like, this could only point to a god. This could only point to the fact that this is divinely inspired. So what's no, the what's the property of Christianity the, or property of the Bible that makes it impossible for this to be human created? Well, well, um, it, it's it's very unlikely. I wouldn't say it's impossible, but very unlikely that it was human created because for example, okay. like I so said, let's pick up on that. that we have is it, have is it less, is all it, the is, mm -hmm. is the likelihood that the Bible was written by humans? Is that less likely than, uh, like the existence of a God? Like you have to compare these two things, right? It's like, if your alternatives yeah. are, we're, well, we're positing no a supernatural entity, that no one has ever been able to like provide definitive evidence for versus a book being written by humans, a also, very wise a book, false perhaps. Yes, that is a yes false, it is a false dichotomy. dichotomy. Because, like if I found a book, if I found something and I was like, wow, there's absolutely no way humans made this. My first thought would, as I've already said in the show, be aliens. Because they're like, sure. oh, this must, must be met some mad alien somewhere. So, well, well, you know, we, we could say- mm -hmm. I don't. It, we would we would need so on top of what MD was just saying we would need not just to prove that humans couldn't have done this um, and and it's likely you know we could say oh it's, you know, it's very difficult for them to have made this but we've got to show that something else is more likely but also then that it wasn't just something else we don't understand mm -hmm. it doesn't get us to God well okay. well I believe that there are a hundred I would say a thousand reasons why I believe that the Bible is true. Um, because okay. and What's all, all those little reasons are embedded within the within the Bible itself. For example, why would the, the Bible, the five books of, of the Bible, um, why would they begin? Why would the first book begin not about people or about a specific people? I mean, there are lots of books that don't start about people, though, right? But but also, why does that matter? Like, who cares? Yeah, why, why? How does that because how does that point to a god? Yeah. It's it's non because it's non chauvinistic and it points to a very anti so what? Uh, behavior. 
because humans want to start, all the gods that preceded the God of Sinai were very much glorification of humans. I mean, they had gods, hum, gods that were human and humans that but, were gods. But, I mean, but the, Mary it's Sinai. Genesis, right, that says uh, God made humans in his own image. So we, that's just, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so now we've got humans that are godlike, right? Because they're made in his image. You're asking me, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I mean that that reads the same. But, I don't see how this points to a god. Like like again, I'm looking for something, some property that okay. specifically why, why, why points to a god would, without any of this inferential, well, probably well compared to other things at the time, like it's uh, it's very wishy-washy well, to me. Other things at the time. Well, it's 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 very, I don't think it's wishy-washy. I think humans have a, a certain way of behaving. And when a book comes, is, is, is created that is entirely um, um, not natural for a human to create, then it raises questions. Why would a human create a book that is so unheroic of itself? It did not happen in history. I, I'm not no convinced of that claim at all. I'm there, sure there are loads of other books that do that. I mean, well, there are not. I mean, we have we have a lot of examples of gods in the past. There were, every god prior to the god of Sinai were men who were, were natural so, nature I gods. Know, so, Ron, I know you've mentioned this Judeo Christian thing, which I actually wanted to pick up on, but I think maybe it's relevant here. If, like, so the the start mm -hmm. of the Bible is shared between Christianity and Judaism, right? Mm -hmm. And you think that everything in the Bible is true, but the Bible is actually different to, you know, all of the books that the Jewish uh, people consider true. Um, and their religion also starts in the same way. So if we want to say the first religion, that's, if your criteria for a, a religion of holy text being true, you know, full of it, all of it is true, mm -hmm. is that it was the first one written where it starts talking about God rather than humans, then that's Judaism. That isn't Christianity. And you can say Judeo-Christian, but right. these two religions are mutually exclusive. Uh, only one of them can be true. Mm -hmm. um, and they, they contradict they, each they other. And if exclusive. Christianity is true, then it can't be just that it was the first one that had, you know, talking about God, because that was, I mean, I would be very surprised if Judaism was the first, but at least Judaism was before it. I don't think Judaism and Christianity are mutually exclusive. I think they are well, entwined. One of them claims that the Jesus was a god, system. and the other one says he wasn't. But that, those are questions of theology. That's those are not. Uh, well, that's of kind of a key factor in they're Christianity. Christians. Like that. That's you know the Bible no. says very explicitly, right? That that Jesus is mm -hmm. the Son of God, or, or is God, or how? how I mean, it, it definitely it makes a claim that the. Jewish faith does not agree with. Um, and if Christianity mm. is true, then Judaism cannot be true. Sure, they could have a 90% overlap. I mean, I'm not sure what percentage of the Jewish faith is contained in the books in the Bible, um, but it's certainly not all of... It's not like Christianity is a superset of Judaism. They're like an overlapping Venn diagram, mm -hmm. and uh, they both make claims that can only be true if the other religion is false. No, that's not true. They are, they are overlapping Venn diagrams. Christianity yes. is based on the integrity of Judaism. That's true. But the value systems are, are identical. But, um, but we're not talking about value about, systems yeah, necessarily, not, right? We're talking Ron? about the truth of the Bible yeah. or the truth of the Jewish holy text. Okay. Yes. Well, and, I think... And if the Bible, the Bible is true, is then Judaism is false. Like, if, if everything in the Bible is true, if every single aspect of the Bible is true, which is a claim you made earlier then there is the claim that Jesus mm -hmm. is the son of God and the Jewish faith disagrees with that. And that's like a, a core component of Judaism. Um, and there are other claims in the Bible. It which is. Judaism you're right. You're right. That is a, that is yeah. a core component of Judaism. You're right about, but that's so are mutually a exclusive. question. And that doesn't matter. You know, the, the authorship of the Bible is not what binds us together. It's valid. Okay. No, it's the, it's the oh, truth. It's the truth of the Bible. Of the common God oh, okay. With Run. value. It's not I, the same I think God. we're getting we're getting a bit <laughs> far afield because I'm still looking for a good reason to believe that the Bible is true. Yeah. 
And and the the, the one okay, excuse well, so my... far has been because it's the first to talk about a god rather than humans, and I actually think that's Judaism. So let's let's maybe pick a different claim that's actually true. Well, I mean, I would say that there are a thousand and one claims in the in the Old Testament that leads to the veracity of its truth. I mean, why would does that mean? Have, does that mean uh, that the reason that the Bible you... is true is because the Bible is claiming to be true? Though, I mean, there are there are lots of books that no, claim because to be true. no, it's and there are lots of books with truth. Well, in them. based on my ability, yes, yes, there are lots of books with truth in it. Yes, but it seemed very unhuman to be making the claims that it did about a, a certain people. If that people, the Jew, Jews, were responsible for writing that book and it was not God, they would have made a very different book. How do you know? They likely made a book that I, because I know, what human, uh, I know what human history has shown. But you, so you know what was going on in the minds of ancient Jews? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We have, okay. we have lots of... I'm not convinced I, I do know that. Ron, I don't know what's going on in your mind, and you're a fellow Canadian living in 2021. So I don't know how you could possibly think that you would know what's going on in the mind of Jews like 6,000 years ago. Well, we have written records. There is a, there is a written there are cuneiform. Sure, and I consider the Bible to be one of those written records. Do you deny that the Bible is written by a human, physically written by a human? Yes, I do. I, I believe it was written by a human, many humans, inspired by God. Okay, so we know, so all we really know is that Jewish people wrote, say, Genesis, and also they wrote other stuff, right? I don't see how a God fits into this. They and, wrote it. And I'm really not convinced. They wrote it, but they didn't inspire. Mm -hmm. So how do you know that it was inspired? I, I think, like... I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, Katie? Like, I think well, we, I think we've sort of drilled down to the issue, but I don't know that we have time to go into this. In huge yeah, detail. I'm. I'm just thinking think, that. I don't think you're accepting my answers. I don't think well, you're accepting my answers. It's I not necessarily. It's think, not that I I, we're not listening to your answers. It's I think that we are unconvinced by your answers. I mean, I feel like, you know, the the claim right. of the Bible is true, um, and uh, you know, if I if I wanted to say. You know this paper that MD has just written is true uh, for shooting lasers at cancer cells or whatever. Then we can look at the evidence, and he's going to provide some evidence in the paper. And for sure, you know the paper is like yeah. its own truth claim, but it's it's providing here is the evidence that we can look up, and here is the conclusion, and we can we can discuss that about whether the evidence supports that conclusion and stuff. And if you know, if I say, well, why is the Bible true, fully true? To show that the Bible is partially true, we can say, well, the Bible claims that, you know, the sun comes up in the morning or something or whatever, and we can go and see that there's evidence for that. But to, to claim the whole Bible is true, we need some kind of evidence to show that this whole book is true. We could go through all of the claims in the Bible and provide evidence for them individually, and maybe that would be, we could then come to the conclusion that the Bible is fully true because we've evidenced every single claim. But I feel like that's not the position here. It's more that the Bible is giving us you know, it, it itself is evidence. It's it's true because of a reason. And I'm saying, well, what's this reason? And you've said there's lots of different reasons and maybe, you know, we need to provide lots of them. But the first one you provided was, well, humans um, are very arrogant and they like to write books about themselves and this one isn't. And it's the first one, but I actually don't think it is the first one. So I think the issue here is like, you know, that isn't that isn't convincing evidence for me. Even if the Bible was the first book, ever written where it didn't talk about humans and i was like wow this is so out of character of humans because humans are stupid and arrogant as shit and they they love writing about themselves and in this book they've written about god first like wow that's interesting that is historically significant i wouldn't see that as evidence for god at all i mean personally i that doesn't even arguably well, convince me i'm just like this is just the first one that's done that. i mean for it, example it, it doesn't even register as uh, as being supportive of the claim to me yeah I think it's just, I mean, it's potentially an interesting fact, but like, you know, someone was the first person to play a guitar yeah. with distortion, and that doesn't mean mm -hmm. that God did it. Uh, it's just really cool, and it's just everyone was like, wow, that's a really good idea, so I'm going to copy that. Um, well, it's, yeah, I mean, anyway. It goes on. That, that's one reason. Well, okay. I mean, there are, there are a thousand examples of that in the Bible. 
that show that it's not something that a man or humans would have produced. I, I think you so have I think, to. I think you have to work on Ron. You have to work on finding evidence that directly points, not just through inference or anything like that. Right? Not just. I don't think this is what humans would have produced. You have to find something that directly points to a god did it. Right? Like Katie said, maybe it was aliens. We don't know. You have to point. You have to find something that points directly to the cause that you're proposing. So, um, so sorry to cut you off, Ron. Um, I just want to say, like, you know, this is an interesting topic. I think um, we might have to, we w would like to squeeze in one more call. So I think we're going to have to move on. But perhaps uh, next time, if you could come up with, like, your top five, um, you know, best pieces of evidence or something like that as to why you think it could only be in written by God, like, that'd be great because it's like a, that's the kind of thing we want in this show is like, here is my evidence. And then we can discuss the evidence. Um, and we're not convinced by... God being the first thing talked about. So there are there is still one more thousand pieces of evidence that you can come with, sort out like the top 10 or something and call back in. But thanks very much for your call.